I simply just can't get enough of these multicolored pearl cells. I'm so in love. The colors, guys, I'm just in love with the colors. They're beautiful and the different sizes in the cells. There's some large cells, small cells, tiny cells, and they're just so beautiful. And the gold in this creates such a shimmer. Check out today's video, guys. You're going to love it. Hello everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I will be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And the colors I'm using are all by Deco Art, the craft is paint. I'll be using five different colors from that brand, using that brand, Deco Art brand. Blue, um, purple, green, yellow and gold so do check out the colors guys do check out the name of the paint i'll be using it it will be listed in my description box below and of course guys no silicone oil added to the mix um for the consistency of the paint check it out as well it will be listed in my description box below i have not been using flow troll haven't used flow troll no american no american flow troll no australian flow troll in the mix but i did add a paint easy it's a paint conditioner by wagner so all that guys will be listed in my description box below all right do check it out thank you how you layer the paint is also crucial in you know getting those cells within the cells so i've you know guys i've been experimenting a lot and i didn't want to just make it one puddle here on my canvas so as you can see i'm just pouring you know different puddles and pouring paint you know colors just mixing it up a bit so i can create a different effect and you know what guys i'm so happy i did that because the outcome is just amazing it's very important guys that you know this you know because like i said i've been experimenting a lot so you know the consistent consistency in your paint has to be right uh, don't make your paint too thin for this ex um for this technique and make sure that it's not too thick as well <laughs> it's just a lot to learn i know but you know you have to know what works for you and i um i just can't stress it enough guys you know just just practice don't think that you know what your first try or your second try or even your 10th try is a failure no just keep at it you know and um the consistency is very important like i was saying guys but even with the black that i'll be pouring over this i mix my black paint thinner so i, I know on facebook people ask me what is your ca uh what is your cell activator no cell activator guys is there's no magic portion i mix the paint all with the same ingredients here my only thing is that the black paint is a bit thinner um it's just gravity you know how the cell rises and all that guys it's just my theory you know no cell activator no silicone oil and of course there's um this is not extreme sheen paint when i just started out doing the cell the pearl cell the multicolor pearl cell i used the extreme sheen paint because i thought they were all magic right but i find that using deco art paint on a whole the, it's just beautiful some of the deco art paint come in satin satin enamels and you know it, it the americana satin you know so it helps to create cells if you guys really wanted to make some amazing cell check out the paints that you're using that's all i want to say guys no magic here no cell activator in this i believe with all my heart that it's the paint and the colors the pigments in the paints all of that 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 has some great effects and it's also when i pour the black over the color you know it helps with the cell in terms of the force that you you pour that black over the colors you know it, it, it's it's all that effect too right and, may, and and also the fact that the black is thinner than the colors it helps you know what this is what i'm talking about with gravity too and all that too as well guys i don't know if i'm making sense i'm not a chemist okay but it's just art and um i'm just experimenting guys you know and eventually i'll have more answers for you because 
you know i'm gonna be getting a little bit more practice based on my experience and you know experimenting and all that too right isn't this just pretty the way how i layer the colors i'm just loving it the way it is already <laughs> so but like i was saying guys you know no cell activator in this okay it's all in the paint and um but i do believe you know adding that liquitex pouring medium in the paint just a drizzle just a drop just like maybe like a teaspoon into each color and black as well i believe that it helps with the formation of the cells okay it helps to keep the cells um tighter and you know you don't lose it like it doesn't get wonky because in the in the beginning of my cell pour experience i never used to use the liquitex um, basic um pour medium and but when i started to use it i do um, recognize the difference so i believe that you know it's an important ingredient guys if you're using your american flow trial or your australian flow trial do use it guys you know keep using it but you know based on your consistency of your paint like i don't mix my paint too thick it's very important not to make it too thick because if it's too thick it's not going to come through it's not gonna you know rise up to the surface it's gonna have a problem to get to the top right and if it's too thin they're gonna develop so fast and it's gonna get wonky on you because guys i can tell you that was my problem too i, I used to use the paint really really thin but and it and it creates the cells so fast and you lose it right it gets wonky so you just have to find that um, in between balance you know what i mean like not too thick not too thin guys you know what don't give up just keep at it all right and and also whenever you tilt in the the, the black the colors of the canvas um for me i find that i i can't go too slow because you know your cells are forming on that side that you already pour right so as quickly as you can and make sure you don't have too much black someone had asked me too on facebook you know how i got my cells so big i believe that the black paint is there's just too much um on the like remaining on the canvas you know so i believe that when you stretch that black over the colors and you stretch it off as much as you can and don't leave too much black you, there won't be too much movement on the canvas you know the so while the black is moving it's gonna cause the colors to develop some more and it's gonna make it move either you know i don't know if i'm making sense but i just it's just my theory it's just you know what i see is happening so if somebody wants to correct me guys you know go ahead but yeah check it out and as as quickly as you can for me i find that as soon as you can get to torching do go ahead and torch because you see how those small cells pop up you know through the black let's say i didn't have my torch right and it i didn't it, it wasn't working or whatever it is those purple cells would have been developing a way way bigger so when i torch and it created those smaller cells it make it so compact that the purple cells won't expand anymore that's my theory as well and this is why i i don't know i learn as i go right so ah <laughs> and of course it's important to clean your edges to you know um so so you don't lose all your beautiful composition and it doesn't you know keep falling over the edge it's just work as you go you, you'll get experience guys all right and um my main goal here is to encourage someone or to tell you really and truly i live in canada okay and even though it's a part of north america and you would think that the products that's in the u.s store like there's lowe's here there's home depot here and there's lowe's and there's home depot in the u.s we don't get the same products okay we don't get american flotra and that's the reason why when i went to lowe's uh somebody told me on facebook that i should go check lowe's you know so when i went there and I asked the, the sales representative, they said they don't have it, but they showed me the Paint Easy, which is by Wagner, the paint conditioner. And it's so liquid, it's like milk. And I, when I watch other artists using the flow troll, it's like thick. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, <sighs> but I tried it and it worked. And then I tried the Zincere uh, Latex Extender as an additive and it works as well. 
so these are just stuff that i've been using i just want to make sure that i have the products at my fingertips i don't have to go order from amazon i don't have to go order online and at the same time too guys i you know if you live let's say in mexico or in um jamaica let's say or in africa or a country that doesn't even have these things you know you have to go to your hardware store that sells paint and just tell them that you know what you want something that's going to extend your paint time or something that you can put to condition your paint and these are little additives that you can add into mixing you know mixing your colors and stuff like that so i just wanted to share this with you so that you know you're not dependent on getting flow shawl or all those little you know ingredients that other artists are using i want to make sure that i can find products here get it off the shelf you know what i mean and and make sure that it's working for me and the main the main thing i want to mention to you guys is that it's all about the colors okay it's all about the paint that you're using that will create the cells i find when i use the most expensive paint like liquitex basic paints it doesn't give me great cells that's me okay i've seen other artists use different brand and all of that and it works for them but the paint that i use worked for me okay so try it out don't just try some other cheaper paint and see how it works okay and let me know guys leave me a comment of course find me on fake facebook or instagram or wherever and leave me a, uh, a message or something and let me know how it's working for you all right so check this out guys the cells are developing well and you know believe it or not i did not even speed this up i, I speed this up times um two and that's it you know and it's developing really really well i do love it so now this is going to be the close-up of the wet result just right now guys here it is the colors are just amazing don't you think guys oh my goodness i don't even know where to start i'm happy with the way i layer the colors because you can see how the cells form within the cells and it's just amazing and i do love the different sizes guys i mean there's some big ones some small ones some in between and it's unique and i love it you know it's it's uh it's a great accomplishment when an artist can do a piece and be proud of it i'm so proud of this guys um yeah let me know let me know in the comment section what you think about it you know the gold in this guys check that out the gold is just so shimmery and it's just amazing you know i'm, I'm really happy with this i'm so pleased this is a good size canvas is 16 by 20 and i'm so happy i did it on a big size you know because do tilting on a big canvas is a is a bit tricky more colors in all that so it does come with practice guys all right stay tuned for the dried result coming up and of course here it is all dried and there is no varnish there's no finish on this guys so the colors are just showing their true beauty <laughs> you know and it's just amazing i decided to hang it this way because of how the cells were flowing uh you know what if you guys you know think i should have put it on the way of course you can tell me let me know what you've seen this guys you know it does give me um a beautiful coral uh, reef kind of a uh, feel you know something from the ocean i'm not sure if that's what you guys are seeing i would love to know what you guys are seeing in this piece and of course you know what leave me a comment in the comment section if you do and of course give this video a, a big thumbs up if you do like it you know and share with your friends and family you know when you guys do these things comment and like and all those things it helps my channel to grow all right that's how i get to reach more people and i do want to reach more people i do want to share my experience because you know what the fluid art is so much fun and i believe that everyone should get a great experience in this all right i hope you guys have a fantastic day a fantastic weekend and i will see you next time on camila moy art bye